Hi everyone! If you're new to my channel, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddlist and my cuddle party facilitator. Welcome! I want to talk a little bit today. I haven't made a video in a little while and this video is specifically for or geared towards practitioners. If you're not a practitioner, if you're a client or someone just curious, it's got great information for you too, but the content is mostly going to be for practitioners. So what I want to share with you is one of the things that has been such a key to success in my practice and it has been essential um, to to my safety which is a commonly asked question and a common concern and to my enjoyment of this work and my fulfillment and self-care in this work and it comes down to really two ideas the first one being erase and this is also Side note, this is specifically applicable, it's applicable to everybody, but even more so to cis females. Uh, the idea that you need to eliminate the concept of just being nice, of, of always having to be nice. Nice and kind are different, but eliminate the idea that you're expected to be nice. And eliminate the customer is always right. Those two things, I will say, will never serve your practice. One thing that I'm consistently asked and in my experience doesn't happen often, I'm asked about um, boundary pushers. For those of you who are in the current dialogue or discourse around professional cuddling, boundary pushers not necessarily is not necessarily someone who is aggressive or violent or uh, dangerous, none of those things. Typically boundary pushers are simply people who in their experience have been able to continue to ask for a little bit more and then get it. And they ask for a little bit more and then they get it. And, and it's kind of disregarding your boundaries um, in small incremental ways. Um, they're also typically people who are living in a lot of scarcity and living in a lot of um, touch deprivation. So their need is really great for touch and for connection. And um, they do that by kind of this game of push a little bit more and see if I can get it and see if I can get them a little bit more and see if I can get a little bit more. Um, and I've experienced those clients and I don't have, actually have a problem working with those clients. But they can be a challenge. The best thing I've ever done in those situations is compassionately and kindly hold absolutely dead firm on every one of my boundaries, regardless of what it is. Now, the other hand to having these firm boundaries is we have to divorce the idea of which boundaries we should have and kind of parse out what shame we have around what we're allowed to want, what we're allowed to have as a boundary uh, and do that internal work. Once we've done that and figured out what our boundaries are, the people in my practice who have been a little bit more boundary pushers, as soon as they get to that wall and it doesn't move and it doesn't move at all and I'm still being nice to them, See, there's that word again, nice. I'm still being compassionate. I'm still being kind. But I'm not being nice and accommodating that request. Once they see that that is not going to move, then a really beautiful thing happens. They stop pushing. They start getting in touch with what they want. And they start asking and talking about it. And that has been, that has made a world of difference. So I want to encourage anyone who is either getting into this practice or trying to increase um, their comfort and their security in this practice, remember the most important thing is your boundaries and holding firm on them and getting comfortable voicing them in a professional, compassionate way. I hope that helped. I hope this improves your practice and have a wonderful day.